Today, I'll be walking you through this iOS 26 home screen setup and walk you through a step-by-step -step guide of how you can set up your iPhone just like mine. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Now there's a few things we have to download before we can actually get started. So what I want us to do is go to the App Store and in the App Store, you're going to search for shortcuts. You're gonna need this app for when we're doing our custom app icons. You're also going to want to download the Gumroad app. This will be for when you wanna download or get future updates on the icon pack. Now, speaking of app icons, this is an awesome pack made by a creator named Loki. And it's actually designed from Aqua's legacy. So 25 years ago, Apple introduced the Aqua interface. Steve Jobs said, we made the buttons look so good, you'll want to lick them. It's an interesting quote, but you can see here, this is what the app icons look like and it really goes well with the liquid glass UI that's found all over iOS 26. And so if you want to purchase these, you have to go to Loki's website, which I put in the video's description, and it has just beautiful detail here. It just looks incredible when set up, and what's inside is actually pretty impressive. So you have your iOS apps, social media, entertainment, productivity, and Google apps. There's also Microsoft and some finance apps. So the pricing is $12 for the standard, 16 for the complete pack, and 20 for the exclusive. Now, I recommend the exclusive. You'll get access to all the app icons, all the widgets, wallpapers, and you can even request more icons and get future updates. Now, once you purchase that, you can download it from the Gumroad site or it'll be in the Gumroad app, which I actually recommend you download the Gumroad app. You'll actually see the liquid glass app icons within Gumroad's app. So I can just click on this one here and it'll take a second. And once it's ready, I can download that file. Now getting into it, we wanna save this into our files app or whatever app that you're using to store your files. So I'll hit download and I'm going to select save to files. It's actually going to be saved as a zip file. So we'll go ahead and hit that check mark. If I go into files and then just long press on the zip file, all I have to do is here, select uncompress and it'll uncompress that file. It should take you right to that file. And you can see here, there are seven items in it. So if I hit on the file, I'll have access to all of the different app icons. And so if you do want to copy the icons that I have, I have FaceTime, TikTok, Photos, YouTube, Camera, Notes, Wallet, Instagram, Threads, Weather, Reminders, Podcasts, ChatGPT, Gumroad, Calendar, Books, Apple Watch, Shortcuts, Mail, Maps, Apple News, Journal, Twitter, or X, Settings, and then Phone, Safari, Message, and, and Apple Music. Now, let's say you wanna use some of the built-in apps from iOS. So in iOS 26, it's a little bit different, but you can hit these three dots here and then select, select, and just tap through the ones that you want to use. I'm just kind of going random right now. And then from there, what you're going to want to do is hit the, we'll call it the send button. And what you can do from there is just save the seven images into your photos. That's going to be the easiest way in my opinion, to find those whenever we're going through shortcuts to load that app icon as the image. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And from there, you can go through the different folders that you want to select the icons that you want to display on your home screen. So this is the wallpaper that I'm going to be using. I have it linked in the video's description as well. Apparently it's a default wallpaper that you can select within the settings of Oxygen OS or something like that. I had no idea, I just saw it because it looks really nice with the new way you can set up your clock in iOS 26. And so from photos, I just have it saved already. I'm going to come here and I'm going to select use as wallpaper. And when I do that, I get kind of the familiar look of iOS, but if I kind of pull this down, I can pinch this down a little bit it'll adjust the size of the clock. You can also adjust it here, kind of like how you can make widgets bigger or smaller on your home screen. And so I think that looks really cool. Maybe pinch it just a little bit more. And I think that looks really good. So we'll go ahead and select add. 
and I want to set this as a pair. So I'll set this as a pair. Now that I'm on my home screen, I also have the wallpaper there. Now there's been some customization changes within iOS 26. So if I long press here on the home screen and go to edit, I can actually customize the wallpaper from here by selecting edit wallpaper. And so if you do want to adjust anything that you want, it can be changed here for your wallpaper on your home screen as well. But I'll select done, just wanna show you that. And from here, what we're going to do is long press on the home screen and we're going to delete these apps. Now, I don't want you to delete them fully from your phone. We're just going to remove them from the home screen. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then just to speed up this process, I'm going to go through this. So you'll just delete each one individually until you have a blank home screen. Okay, so I deleted everything. I'm gonna select done. I literally have a blank home screen. So this is true minimalism. You can actually turn off this search option if you want. I just have it turned on. It's not really a big deal. There's a setting you can do to turn it off. Now I'm gonna go into shortcuts and I have a ton of shortcuts already built, but we're gonna build one from scratch for this video. And when you're adding your app icons, you'll do this individually for each app icon. Still in iOS 26, there's no way to apply a custom icon pack just right out. And so your whole phone is themed like that, but you can individually add each icon and it's pretty tedious, but we'll get through it. So you'll go to the plus icon and shortcuts. And it looks a little bit different in iOS 26, but it's basically the same thing as iOS 18. You'll go to open app. So what better app to add then? We'll go ahead and down to, we'll do YouTube. And from here, you're going to select this little drop down arrow. And then you're going to select add to home screen. Now, one thing you can do is you can come here to where it says the name and you can add YouTube if you want or you can just completely delete it like I have it on my home screen. And then I'm gonna to come to image and there's three options you can do. You can take a photo, which no one would do that. Or you could do choose file or choose photo. And I'm just gonna choose photo cause we saved some of those photos in the beginning. And I actually saved a ton of the app icons that I wanna apply. And so I'm going to select the YouTube icon and I'll go here. And then I'm going to get the option to select choose. Then from here, I'm going to select add. It's going to take me out of shortcuts. And there I have the YouTube icon. If I open up YouTube, it opens up the YouTube app. Hey, while you're on YouTube and you see it right here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. But going back into shortcuts, you'll actually do the same steps. It's like seven steps again for each icon. And once you do that, your home screen is going to look like this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure each shortcut opens up to the expected app. So like Instagram, okay, it opens up to Instagram and music opens up to music, right? So you just wanna make sure that looks good. I absolutely love this setup and I think it looks incredible with liquid glass. Just look at the way liquid glass is with these icons. I mean, they, they look incredible. And that is how you set up your iOS home screen like mine. If you guys have any questions, comment below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Also, my three-year-old wants to say God bless too.